Meanwhile, a 15-year-old Naima Bello is among the 60 children with special needs and Down syndrome, receiving transformative psychological and mental health therapy at the Friends Advocacy Mental Health Initiative FAM in Kaduna. This life-changing program is helping children develop better perspectives and harness their potential through creative outlets like painting and artistic skills, promoting self-dependence. Our correspondent Habila Dorofai in this report says, Naima has lived with Down syndrome since infancy. Her sister Aisha Bello tirelessly sought treatment and did everything possible to ensure Naima could play and interact with her peers. That journey led to the discovery of Naima's special abilities in teaching and artistic painting. Through constant coaching and resilience, Naima has been significant progress or has made significant progress now dreaming of becoming a teacher in the future. Boost her self-esteem by including her in normal activities. We try as much as possible not to exclude her. Any other activity, day-to-day -day activity like going to school, going to Islamia, we try to take her. Any other extracurricular activity like whenever there is a program going on, we try to include her. My day-to-day, she's really, really getting better in everything. She's becoming, her speech is becoming clearer. So, and with little training, day-to-day -day training, she's also becoming better. So, I believe there is that possibility of her becoming what she wants to become a teacher, actually, because she loves teaching. Like, give her a blackboard, give her some, even empty chairs, she will act as if she's teaching. So, and then she's very creative. She likes creativity, painting, and that. Painting. You paint her? Part of her. And she, she, she signed. And she will. Mental health education is emphasize the importance of equipping children with special abilities, with skills and coping mechanisms to navigate emotional and mental challenges. They advocate for incorporating creative drawing and painting into school curriculums to better support these children. Is to equip young children with skills and the mechanisms in which they can cope mentally. It helps them build mental resilience, it helps them manage emotions better, it also helps them express themselves better. Exposed to children who, have, who are typical, we didn't really make provision for atypical children, like children with special needs, like ADHD, Down syndrome, autism. And then when Naima and her sisters had visited someone who was attending the event, it became an instant connection between I and Naima and the way that Naima took me at that time appreciating that I could see her I could understand her and I could have fun with her it really just such a part of our heart as a team and we decided why don't we make more space for children with special abilities these children are often misunderstood if they are equipped with this kind of artistic skills to express themselves communication is even much much better and accommodation for them in spaces will be made and for children with special need because of their challenges they have difficulty integrating uh, into the society or let me say the society usually often uh, kind of uh, separate them or tend to ignore them because of their special the nature of their special needs what we are trying to do is to bring these children together if you look you can see there are children with special needs there are children that are the so-called normal children we bring these children together to work together to explore the act we are carrying out so that they can understand that they are not any different from any child they are able to do things most other children can do and that will build their self-esteem uh, it will give them that, uh, that that courage you know and belongingness to participate in activities going forward the experts urge parents and nigerians to stop discriminating against children with special needs instead they call for the creation of platforms that encourage inclusion and equity in society Overall, what we hope to achieve is, one, to ensure that, to help parents understand that there are other ways that they could manage their children, both mentally and otherwise, right? We are also trying to also help schools to understand that exploring non-conventional means of learning, like arts, like coloring, different kind of things, can also help them achieve their academic goals for children, not just children with special abilities. And we also hope that with this event, people are able to see that children with special abilities are nothing but special they are not different they are not difficult but they should be made they should, they should we should make spaces for them in social spaces realistic we know that um, the, there are hardships for these kind of children because they have disabilities but there is something for 
everyone in this world. Vision for them to be successful in life like every other person. We are being patient and tolerance to do that actually. The Farm Initiative has transformed the lives of many children with special abilities, offering them a fresh opportunity to thrive. Neymar and her peers are now looking forward to a future where they can fully explore their potential and realize their dreams. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.